So uh, I just have a question. Like uh, most of our young people here, uh, who work? Who's working? How many? How many of you working? So after after graduation, after high school graduation, just only one. The gala kiga. Okay, kia thega. Okay, let us turn to the book of Acts, chapter twenty, verse thirty-five. In everything I did, I show you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words of the Lord Jesus Himself said, "It is more blessed to give than to receive." What does that mean? It means like uh, I just I just want to give you one of the uh, one of the testimony. Okay, I never forget about it because. Uh, one time when I was in Los Angeles, um, uh, California, I mean uh, California, I was at the restaurant. Maybe I already uh, told you one time or three times. I don't know. I don't remember that. You know, I was there with uh, uh, pastors and friends at the restaurant. So beside us, there's a, a homeless, uh, homeless man s sitting there, and then. He was counting his money like maybe 25 cents or like 10 cents or something like that. Then after we finished our breakfast, before everybody leave, and then I hand over $20 to the homeless man. Then when I went back into the car, I got $200. That's the great testimony. I never forget about it. So here Jesus teaching you and me. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen? Amen? So if you want to be blessed, you need to give. I believe everybody today, we already given to the church or to the poor, to the needy. All right? So the first thing. So the second thing is um, the book of Proverbs chapter Chapter 3, verses 9 to 10 states, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruit of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. So, the first fruit is like uh, in, in the time of Moses, okay? So everybody uh, working in the farm. So for the harvest time, they just took the first fruit or the firstborn of the animal. They bring it to the priest and they offer to God by their gift. So anytime like when we are like especially when we are entering the new year like this, we have maybe uh, maybe the first check of our paycheck. So we just bring to the church and offer to God and God is going to give you back. Amen. Praise the Lord. Not only money, okay? Not only money, anything, anything that you have. But the most important thing is the fruit of your mouth to sing and praise the Lord. Amen? Amen? That is what God wants from us. So the last thing is the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet you rob me. But you ask, how do we rob you? In tithes and offerings. What does that mean? It means like we got a hundred dollars, okay? We got a hundred dollars, just only ten dollars to give it back to God. So if you do not do that, you are robber. I am robber. 
Bangnya kau leh tahap lana, tahu tahap lana. Nai kene kalau aku ni lati dua tamla deh lah. Tala tamla ni nane di kuahudari, kuahudahari ni. So thief is like when a person is not at home. So the thief go to the house and steal the things from the house, and they they just gone. But the robbery is not the same as thief. Okay, robbery is so so bad. They're gonna kill you, or they're gonna do anything harm to you, and they're gonna take everything away from you. So let us not be a rob, okay? So if you got one dollar, so one cents to God, ten dollars, one dollars to God. So especially for the young people, you need to learn how to give it back to the God,、uh, to the Lord. And also,、uh, verse ten. Malachi chapter three verse ten, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the food gates of heaven and pour out so much blessing. That you will not have, uh, in uh, uh, that you will not have room enough for it. I got a question. So, have you ever、uh, testing God by this scripture? If you do, please raise your hand. Especially young people, because the Lord says that we need to test Him. And I will bless you or not. So no, nobody test God, right? So starting from 2024, I just want to encourage and urge you to start testing God in this thing, and you will be blessed and overflow. God, God is going to pour out a blessing overflow into your life. Amen. Praise the Lord.